That dirty water, baby, Boston. Yo, my love. That a boy. Kevin and I will be reporting live from the garden on Saturday night, so that'll be fun. But let's get into the dirty water. And before Our that, ball. Friday. Friday, we're going to hit a P Bruins, Bruins game. I'm actually – my hockey team that I coach, my U8 hockey team, we are playing in between periods at the P Bruins game. So Kevin's coming to watch that. I'm just going to get drunk with his fiance. Yeah. And, and cheer him on. And cheer him on. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, the Bruins game the next day. So it's going to be pretty fun. Watch a little charge puck drop, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. But let's get right into it. The Boston Bruins have started off 3-0. and Oh, baby, let's they go. They started off, and they look much better than any of us thought they were going to. Walk a flock of flame. And I think the biggest thing for me is that we're getting scoring from the whole lineup. Right. After two games, you had 10 different guys scoring goals. You scored 11 goals in your first two, 10 different guys recording. Like, that's what you need. And, like, what's the word I'm looking for? The wow factor is there. They have the wow factor. Wait, wait a second. Wow was the word you had to think about? No, no, I couldn't think of a word. Okay, so okay, all right. I that's fair. Wow that's fair. I, said, I was like, Jesus, buddy. If that's if that's the big word you're coming up with, and we got to get to the dictionary, hit up Mr. Webster. Yeah, yeah no, I, I've yeah. been pretty surprised, Connor. I don't know about you. You like Dave? I think Dave, the depth scoring has been surprising to me. It is, but also there's players in the roster who – are in the bottom six who I'm still looking for more from. So it's kind of, it's an awkward time in Bruinsville. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. But it's like the ones you are seeing scoring, like this team has this, like swagger around it right now. And that's why I love to see like, they're happy. They're having fun. They're playing, and, they're playing hockey. Like they're back as kids. I think that's the biggest thing. It's like winning games, having fun, scoring goals. That's all what that doing. being said. Two of the swaggiest guys in this team aren't even are not even in the lineup. Yeah, in McAvoy and but yeah, AJ Grizz with that yeah. swag, with that bite and tongue out and everything. He does. Going he on. does. They have. I mean, chill out, buddy. Don't, don't sweat too much. They have, yeah. No, I think that third line, right? That rebuilt third line that we're seeing, which will get a segue or keep it going, of Greer and Freddie with Coil. It, it has played two games with some swag, and like I like the way they look. To the point where tonight we see Mr. Craig Smith being scratched. Smitty is scratched because he's being outplayed up and down that roster. Right. Adios. Even Felino, dude, is looking nice. Like Felino he's a hasn't couple... been, he hasn't been bad. Right. You got a couple close ones. Dude could have like two, three goals right now. The player that I've bitched about the most is Smith, and he's out of the lineup. Right, Smith and Riley is just I'm never going to like Mike Riley's style of play. You know what I mean? But he he's done his job. I think he's been outplayed by Clifton. I think Forbert's been the best defenseman. Right. Um, so the and that's track. one thing we talked about yesterday. Like when Locko was the one that got bumped for Smith. Yep. Like we were like, thought it was so, bullshit. Yeah, it's unfair. It's like Locko's yeah. proven himself. Smith hasn't. Yeah, no, right. I agree completely. Like I think Jacob Locko has absolutely deserved to be in this roster. And tonight, Smith's crash. Locko's right. back in. I think Lauco is going to play with a man like his ass is on fire and he's going to be hard to take out of that lineup. I really do. Ruins defensive unit has some injuries. Connor, you want to get into those? Yes. Starting with Connor's doing a lot of dadding tonight. He keeps having to step away. He's doing a lot of, a lot of parenting. So it actually wasn't dadding. It no. was my mom showed up. Oh, okay. So just saw that. However, <laughs> it didn't start that way. My dog just really wanted to go to the bathroom. Oh, so it's just. I, I was trying to let him out because he was whining at the door. So that was the first time. And the second time was to let him back in the house. Luckily, he was oh, I just saw your text. He was out here when my mom showed up and he was tripping and getting all antsy because he wanted to go inside. But whatever. Anyway. Deep hairs. Injuries. The Bruins injuries. Well, it looks like we're going to be getting Matt Grizzlick back sometime in the not so distant future, probably yeah. within the next week or so, which is a really good sign, especially yeah. since the other injury on the blue line, Brandon Carlo, it's who scary. knows what's going on. I mean, it's when you scary. look at the play and he took that check into the boards, it seemed like he snapped his head back and smashed it into the board to some but degree. Again, man, it's an NHL hit. Nothing dirty. Yeah. It was not a crazy contact. It's just, it scares me with Carlo. It really does. I, I talked to my dad about this last night. We're like, 
is this a sign? And this is a question I have for you too. Is it a sign that Carlo cannot play at this level for 82 games? I don't yes. think there's, I don't think there's a right answer. There's no wrong answer here, but I think it, I think he can. I think it's a sign that he can't. I mean, yeah. he hasn't really proved that he can. It, no, like can... even his first couple of years where he was like a mainstay on the blue line, he got hurt right before the, the playoffs, playoffs each year. Time and his head is just not all right. And I mean, it's a guy who, you know, I think that it's severely hindered his career and his career projection. He's starting Injuries. to tread into the Andre Kasha yeah. injury bug. It's just, and it's just the reality of like at that size playing defense, you're going to get bumped into in your midsection. Defend your head, number one. Yes. Number two, I mean, you have to be able to take those hits. And it does scare me about Carlos long term ability to be a Bruin. He, he really can't does. take those hits because he's not committed to being a physical defenseman. Yeah, I mean, and it's just his head. I don't know if his head will let him. So that's uh, scary. Yeah, I don't but know. we get Strollman back tonight. Yeah, Finally, we, get tonight. we get Strollman. We just get Strollman. Get the visa, finally. No, he didn't no. get a visa. It's because they're playing in Canada. They're playing in Canada so we can play. Oh, nice. Yeah, he nice. already had his ability to play in Canada. And then, Kev, what's the update? I think you put out the article this week for Charlie McAvoy coming back. Well, I put out a Grizzly article. Oh, it was the Grizzly article. Okay. But Charlie Mack is back practicing in that full contact sweater. Oh, no, he was in maroon. He wasn't in full was contact. Was it? Yeah, he was in non contact. Oh. But Bradley Marchant was, was practicing in his full contact uniform. Was not. He, he was. Buzzing around, I guess he was being super physical. He looked great. I mean, the last only ten games. The guy has one, one speed, which is full, full throttle. But he still has to wait. He still has to wait ten games. So, I mean, as excited as we are to see those guys back out there, they can't come back yet. It's that simple. There's going to be a couple weeks before we see either of them practicing in full and getting the NHL speed. We still have a little bit of time to go. Just like Grizzly's healthy, he's just not in NHL shape. Like Monty said, like physically there's nothing holding him back. It's just that he's so sore after practice and stuff. Cause he's not used to playing hockey at this pace, which is normal. It's not like, yeah. Tonight we go Lindholm, Riley, Forbes, Clifton, Zaboral, Strawman. I like that a million times. Better. Oh, I love Zaboral, Strawman together. Yeah. I, one guy though, before we get into our last Bruins topic there that we have on the sheet, obviously if you have more, we can go over him. I haven't loved Zaboral's play. There's been signs of great things and there's been signs of like, come on, dude, just go with your gut. You know, I think he has a, he's been a little indecisive. 100% going to give him a pass. He's played three games back from an ACL tear. So, and he's got less than what, 20 games of NHL experience? Yep. yep. So, I, yeah, no, I'm not like, I'm not holding against him. I just, I, the way that he was hyped up to start it just is kind of, well, yeah. And I think on top of, you know, his name being in that 2015 conversation. Everybody in the fan base has heard of him and they feel like he's been around the block for a long yeah, time. But he really hasn't. And expect a certain level of, you know, competence. And he's really not there yet. They haven't given no. him the opportunity yet. Well, no. I guess you could say they did last year, but the injury, but yeah. that that shit happens. Of course. I think our last thing we kind of have in the bees is the guy who the three of us were so high on. Still hasn't found his way into the lineup in Jack Stadnika. Um, right just before we started recording. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I think that's the best way to put it. Right before we started recording, we listened to Monty's interview together. And obviously he wants to get him in the lineup and he's going too soon. But he's just kind of given the advice to just stay strong. And when you get in there, prove for me not to take you out. I think I – think, uh, That feels learn. like such a backhand yeah. comment, doesn't it? Like, I, know. I know. It's like, we hey, don't man. think you're good enough, but if somebody you know gets hurt, you then probably we'll will stay in. in the yeah, it's like I don't. And if you do well, maybe you it's, stay in. The problem is, Nosek played all right, and Felino's played better than we expected. And, and you know Malco what's going to even worse? And I think the writing on the wall that Studnika's gone is that as soon as Marshan comes back, there's he's one probably spot. gone. Yeah, no, but if and if they we'll set have him to down, he's going to get scooped. Down. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if they do set him down. though. I think they might. They've shown like they will send Felino and Riley down, and those guys. So we'll see. We really will see. But I don't know. But has Felino? It, it Stanika when he gets in, it's this simple. Stanika will get in a game before Marshawn's back. He better be the best player on the ice. 
That's it. That's it. it it's how can you expect him to be the best player on the ice when he's now not had any kind it's of gonna game? It's going to be hard. It's going to be absolutely hard. It, it's yeah. stacked against him again. Jack Stanika has been put in tough situations by this organization. And if he doesn't crack this lineup at some point and play a significant he's amount of games, he's going to want out himself. It's going to, one, hinder his development overall because he's not even playing AHL games. No. He's doing nothing but practicing and yep. watching from the press box. Which I'm sure he would choose over being in the Always Hungry League. But Yeah. Maybe. I have another. Yeah. Oh, say it, buddy. What is it? You can, you introduce it. Anders Bork getting waved. Yes, Bjorky. Bjorky got waved. He's not going to get picked up by the Bruins, but it's... No, you know, I know, but Taylor Hall trade looking I know. that much better. I know, I know. The Taylor Hall trade was a steal, and we all know that. Taylor Please. Hall and Curtis Lazar for Anders Bjork and a second-round pick. <laughs> that was something. I would have given up a second for what Lazar gave us. I wish we still had that guy. I guess, but yeah. we, are, we, are, we yeah, have he, enough bottom. Think, he scored his first goal the other night in Vancouver. Good. Yes, he did. Good. Bruins are in good shape. I think that's kind of our overall thing there. I don't know. Kev, do you have any bets for us, or are we going to just give our bets out on Twitter? What are you thinking? He's hammering the Bruins tonight, and it looks yeah, like the Bruins would... are like minutes away from starting their game finally. Yeah, this would be hard for us to even get that out. But uh, what do you – do you have anything for the rest of the week? you want me to hit the button, or are we going Lucky Duckies or no? Yeah, hit it. Okay. Lucky 